Because the thing that's fascinating about cannabis is that it is really a pharmacy and a flower. Because you have all these different compounds within there, you know, everybody knows about THC and CBD. You hear about these in the press. There's the misnomer that one gets you high and one is the medicine. I would flip that and I would say one isn't of much value and the other one is really good medicine, meaning the THC. That's a different talk. But let's go ahead and stick with this. But you also have other cannabinoids in there like CBN. And CBN is the one that helps to make you sleepy. You have THCV, which we believe regulates the insulin uptake in the body. So there's all these other. You then have all these things called terpenes. Well, terpenes are what you taste and what you smell. And a terpene, for example, uh, in, in lavender, you have something that's called linalool that's very calming. If you've ever picked up a, le a lemon and held it to your nose and smelled it and had that uplifting feeling that it gives you, that's limonene. That's also in cannabis. So we know that it has all these various components within it, and we have to see how they work together. I learned about something called the entourage effect. Now, this isn't uh, an actor with a bunch of fans hanging around him. This is how all the components of the plant work together. In the case of cannabis, the whole truly is greater than the sum of its parts. Because you can buy isolated where they just use one component of it, but it is not going to work anywhere as near as well as when you have all of the components together. So let's talk about a piece of chocolate cake. You could have your flour, your butter, your sugar, your eggs, your vanilla, your cocoa, all of the ingredients that go into a piece of, care of, of chocolate cake. But you certainly are not going to have had the experience of eating a piece of, of, of chocolate cake. And that is, in a nutshell, what the entourage effect is. So now we know that we have to have the whole plant so that we have this entourage effect. We know that doctors are going to be able to have to dose it correctly. But what is, in fact, a dose? 